Hi there, my name is Alan Lamont. This video is called God is Raising Up His Church Online. And I can see that it's a move of the Spirit of God in this generation, that God is raising up his sons and daughters. He's raising up his people to preach his word. And I've done enough exposure on the New World Order. I'm moving away from that now. What I'm doing on the channel is preaching and sharing my heart. And uploading videos from men and women of God that know the Lord. They can share his word. And so that's what I'm going to do on the channel. All the work that I've done on Mystery Babylon, the New World Order, that work will remain on the channel. But I'm finished with doing that. I've really been challenged by the Lord to go back into preaching his word. And I've been really blessed just going through YouTube the last 24 hours, really looking at street preachers and men and women of God that have the anointing of God to preach. And I used to do that for 16 years, uh, as in preaching in open air. That's the ministry the Lord gave me. So I understand the importance of it because Jesus Christ said in his word in Matthew chapter 7, verse 13, he said, Enter you in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leads to destruction, and many there be that go therein. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they're raven and wolves. And the Lord said in verse 21, Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of God, but he that doth the will of my Father which is in heaven. Many will say to me on that day, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name, and thy name have cast out devils, and thy name done many wonderful works? Then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you that work iniquity. Praise God for his word. There are many that are on their road to destruction. They're on the path of destruction. On the broad way that leads to destruction. And so what I'm going to be doing now on YouTube is preaching the word of God to encourage the people of God and preach the gospel to the unsaved. That's my priority. That's what I'm going to do. I'm no longer going to do any work on Mystery Babylon. It's all done. And that burden has been lifted off my shoulders. The Holy Spirit wants me to preach and teach now. So praise God. Let me move in this message. There is a move of God, the Holy Spirit, all across the internet, especially YouTube, where God is raising up his people to preach to this generation. It's a work of God. Praise God. Praise his holy name. The Spirit of the Lord is raising up his people. The Bible says when the enemy comes in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard against them. And you have so many false prophets on YouTube. You have so many false doctrines and false teachers that the Lord is raising up his church. He's raising up his servants to lift up a standard. And you know, when I've looked at these videos over the last 24 hours of just how many preachers have been arrested worldwide, it's really shocked me. I mean, I know what it is to be persecuted for the gospel. And I've been arrested by the police years ago <laughs> for preaching the word of God. And I was put in the prison cells. And uh, of course, it was thrown out before I could get taken to court because it was illegal. But, you know, they said to me that they had phone calls from different businesses and I was disturbing the peace and all of this, you know. It's the same thing they do. But in Britain, they're calling it, you know, homophobic speech. In other words, if you say that homosexuality is a sin, they call it Section 5. Uh, you know, that, that's the law that they brought forth through the courts. It's called Section 5 in Great Britain, whereby if you say that homosexuality is a sin, then you can be arrested for homophobic speech and you can be prosecuted and you can be fined. And uh, that's how they're uh, shutting down the preaching of the word of God in Britain. And uh, in America, you know, you have the freedom of speech. But if you watch some of the videos I've uploaded, there's one in particular of a man named... Uh, Larry Kraft, and he was preaching. It was a complete setup. Uh, this news corporation had actually been in contact with the police. Obviously, the whole thing was set up, and it wasn't until the camera crew arrived that the police just came upon this preacher. They didn't talk to him. They didn't ask him any questions. They just handcuffed him. They just all dived on him. There was about six police officers. That was just over the top. It was complete over the top response from the police. And they arrested Larry Kraft, and he's been arrested so many times for the gospel being preached. And he's one of my favorite preachers on YouTube, actually, because the man just preaches the blood of Jesus. He preaches 
you know, the wrath of God. He preaches the love of Jesus as well, but he's just a gospel preacher. And that's what we need on YouTube today. We need the church of God to arise. I want to encourage you, if you're not used to doing videos on YouTube, uh, just do it. <laughs> Don't let your mind get in the way. Just do it. And the Spirit of God will move through you. God will give you the unction, the anointing of his Holy Spirit. And God will use you to minister to his people because it's necessary now. And just to clarify, finally, I'm no longer doing any more work on the papacy of Mystery Babylon because I've spent four years doing that. My calling is an evangelist. I'm called to preach the word of God. And praise the Lord, that's the direction I'm going in in the future. And praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You see, the preachers across the world that are going out in the open air preaching worldwide, as I've said, they're being arrested. You know, they're bringing in laws to stop the preaching of the word of God. Now, if you're a Buddhist or a Hindu or a Sikh or a Muslim, they won't arrest you. It's only those that are really preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. And, you know, God is going to raise up his church. He's raising up his church on the Internet. He's raising up his church across the earth. Glory be to God. Glory to his holy name. And, you know, during the Great Tribulation, God is going to raise up his church. We're going to be bold. We're going to be fearless. We're not going to fear man. We're going to preach the word of God to this generation. God is raising up his church online. He's doing it all over the Internet. Praise the Lord. Not just YouTube, but all over the Internet. The Lord Jesus Christ says, I will build my church and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. The world hates the preaching of the word of God. Sometimes you'll only hear real gospel preaching through street preachers. That's the truth. If you go to most churches, okay, you know, they don't need to preach hellfire and brimstone because they're already converted. They're already born again. I understand that. But there's something about preaching the word of God and preaching against sin and preaching the holiness and wrath of a holy God that really causes sinners to tremble. And there will be a confrontation in the spirit realm. There will be demons manifesting through people. I've seen it. There will be a reaction and a confrontation between the kingdom of light and the kingdom of darkness. And when you bring forth the word of God, the uncompromised gospel of Jesus Christ, that men and women need to repent of their sin and turn to God because there is a day appointed in which God will judge the world in righteousness. There will be persecution. There will be a reaction. That's the truth. Jesus says, go ye into all the world. Now, if you can't go out in open air, do it on YouTube. Just start doing webcam. Just start preaching. Just start teaching. Just start bringing the word of God out. Start preaching it strong. Start delivering it strong. Praise the Lord. Or you can do worship songs or however God's gifted you. Just use your gifts for the glory of God. Use the talents that he's given you. Praise God. We all must do that. And broad is the way that leads to destruction. And many there be that go therein. And these false prophets on YouTube, you know, they're leading people to destruction. They're leading people to hell itself. And we have to stand in the gap. We have to lift our voice and preach the true gospel that all men might be saved and all women might be saved. The Bible says that God wants all men to be saved and come to a knowledge of the truth. And we are the only ones that can do that. We are the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. And we have to be bold and strong. We do. We have to be bold. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise his name. We have to be bold in the Lord. The Bible says be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Persecution always will come against authentic Christianity. You see it in the life of Paul. You see it in the life of Peter and John, all the apostles of the Lord Jesus Christ. Apart from John, they were all martyred. They were sheep to the slaughter. They were all imprisoned. They were all you know, put to death. They were all persecuted for the word of God. The darkness hates the light. But God will not leave himself without a witness. He will always raise up voices in the earth. He will always raise up his servants and his handmaidens. He will always do it. He always has in every generation and he always will. Because Jesus said, I will build my church and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. So it doesn't matter how many times they arrest us, how many times they put us in prison for preaching the gospel. We will continually go forth. The Bible says we are to obey God rather than men. They rejoiced that they suffered for the name of Jesus. So I just wanted to upload videos uh, over the last 24 hours of street preachers that have been arrested just to honor these men of God. And uh, there's a video by a woman that I uploaded, and it's called Women Preachers Against Pope in Jerusalem. Watch that video. It's very, very, very anointed. I suggest that you also go on our YouTube channel and watch 
her videos, you know, she's a woman of God, she's serving the Lord, she's dedicated to the Lord. And thank God for people that are willing to go out and preach the gospel. Now, I'm not trying to make you uncomfortable if you don't do open-air preaching. That's not what I'm trying to do in the video. You can preach through YouTube. Praise God. You can do a webcam and you can preach. It doesn't matter. You know, when you preach the true gospel, you won't have many views. <laughs> I found that. And you won't be popular. But we're not called to be popular. We're called to be men and women that please God. Amen. Not people that want to be loved by the world. You know, if you talk about the New World Order, you'll get about, you'll get a few hundred hits. You'll get a few thousand. You know, I've been there, you know. But the thing is, we have got to go back as a church to preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. It is more important than exposing the beast system or the New World Order. Now, if you feel the call of God and you like to do that, do that. I've done it for four years. I'm not saying don't. All I'm saying is we have to preach the word of God. As for me, I'm just going to keep preaching on YouTube doing webcams every few days and just uh, bringing the word of God and uploading uh, videos from the people of God, the people of God that are out there serving him. Praise God. Praise your Lord Jesus Christ. Praise your Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's time for us to arise. God says in the last days, in Acts chapter 2, God says in the last days, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Your sons and daughters will prophesy. Young men will see visions. Old men will dream dreams. Even on my servants and on my handmaidens, in those days I will pour out of my spirit and they shall prophesy. We have to preach the prophetic end time word of the Lord to this generation. We have to preach the coming of Jesus Christ, the great tribulation, abomination of desolation, everything that's written about the end times. We have to prophesy to this generation the scriptures. And we have to preach the true gospel of Jesus Christ. The Apostle Paul says in the book of Romans, he says, I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto the salvation of everyone that believes. Men and women are dying in their sins every second of the day. People talk about they're going into a lost eternity. No, they're not. They're going into a lake of fire. The bonds with brimstone and the smoke of their torment ascendeth forever and ever. We have to love this world more than ourself, more than our popularity, more than our reputation. We have to preach the word of God to this generation. They're on their way to a lake of fire. They're on their way to hell. And their names will not be in the Lamb's book of life. Slave from the foundation of the world. So as Christians, look, I'll just speak out more life as I finish. I've been challenged by the Holy Spirit. The Lord has been challenging me to go back to that calling. So that's what I'm doing because I've neglected that. I've spent too much time exposing the papacy, exposing the beast system, the new world order. Far too much time doing that. And, uh, you know, I'm turning around and going back into the call that God's put on my life. And praise the Lord, you know, I've seen the light. <laughs> Took a long time, you know, I've seen the light. But praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let God raise you up. Let the Holy Spirit rest upon you and sing songs of worship on YouTube, preach on YouTube, share the word of God on YouTube. It doesn't matter what they do to us. You know, we're going to glory. We're going to heaven. And we have to cry out to this generation. Flee the wrath of God to come. For there is a day in which God will judge the world in righteousness by Jesus Christ. We have to warn men and women. The Bible says, knowing the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. We have to get out there. And if you can't do it on YouTube, preach the word of God. People must hear it. God bless you. I'll do more webcams. Thank you for watching the videos. And uh, thank you for everyone that's watched my videos and left comments over the years. I thank you so much. And I've neglected preaching, to be honest. I'll admit that before you right now. I'll be accountable. Uh, I've neglected preaching the word of God. I should have preached it more, but I'm not going to make the same mistake. I'm going to continue to go forward preaching the Lord Jesus Christ, preaching the word of God to this generation. All my work on the New World Order and the Jesuits and Mystery Babylon, it will remain online, but I'm no longer going to do it anymore. It's more important for me to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ to this generation. God bless you.